Apa khabar? Kembali semula dengan kami. <laughs> Okay, dia dah say ni lah Seorang terkejut <laughs> Straight away like What's yeah. going on? What's yeah. so am I watching? I the same Tiba-tiba show. cakap bahasa Melayu <laughs> Tuh lah Orang pun like What is going on? JG has lost it The plot No I have not lost the plot Um, uh, Thank you so much for joining If it's the first time you're watching this And and tak pernah join And don't know what's going on What we do here today uh, Is we try to give you tips Uh, financial tips uh, and if you've got any questions sila ask any questions you can in the in the comments and when we see it we'll read it and then we'll ask the questions and then everybody happy 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 and today's topic is actually important it's also topical and it's also one of the topics even though a lot of people know a lot about it a lot of people at the same time don't know nothing about it <laughs> and <laughs> and segan nak tanya because the people who have the information are normally friends and family and then you nak tanya so like uh okay lah just sign whatever you t- that tell us this is when it comes to insurance and takaful so mm. yeah today is going to be a fun day in it <laughs> i like that yeah. mm. uh as soon as you bring up insurance and takaful a lot of people got a lot of questions uh, uh, because they don't know how to ask it uh, according to, to friends so let's start with a few questions oh wait before we start i'll tell you how this happened um rafiq was uh speaking to somebody and that somebody is someone i know and then i joined in that conversation and then um that person started asking a lot about insurance and and and, and stuff because the the information they have about insurance is from their friend who is the insurance agent and certain things they cannot ask <laughs> so we're like okay so it's time for us to share the kind of information that yeah. should be public so also more orang tahu yeah so so basically like when we were when we were having the chat i, I think it was last week yeah La, last week on friday <laughs> yes yeah, correct it, it was on friday around, around this time i uh, know slightly slightly later slightly so later. yeah because that was the first day of cmco <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was the first day of cmco so correct. so so we were having a chat on this and yeah so i know i know i know i know to certain extent this this happens but yeah. it, it was very interesting having like that live live discussion correct uh, having that live discussion and then as as we're going so like then both me and jj were looking at each other yeah we we, we, we should be asking this <laughs> in, in the financial in the financial correct. Live show. <laughs> and we should, should share it with a lot of people because not many people know uh okay but but let's let's first off start off with a few questions that you already have that people already As soon as you brought a topic, they ask on you personally in your page. So we said we jaw up with everybody so that everyone can share. Uh, the the question that some people think they know the answer to is why is insurance and takaful important for wealth and health protection? Okay, so basically, okay, uh, why why is it important? It's actually very simple. So the concept we need to understand first the concept of insurance and takaful. Correct. Basic, basically, uh, we are. Uh, spending or contributing a small amount of money to cover to provide certain protection or coverage which is larger so correct so, so it's an example so kita bayar 100 200 300 ringgit sebulan so that we can get let's say 1 million per annum medical coverage correct so so means that if we do that and let's say we uh, get admitted into the hospital for Correct. whatever reason so then the insurance company would then pay for the cost so and if let's say we were to do something like some major surgeries or operations or whatever so then this is where this whole thing makes more sense so imagine paying like uh, a few hundred ringgit a month yeah. and somebody is going to pay 1 million Uh, to cover your medical expenses Correct. because just, just think about it if let's say you as an individual you want to try to kumpul 1 million <laughs> kira right so for, it would actually it, within take, one year within one year is not possible <laughs> yeah that's yeah. right so so for most people it might take you 20 25 30 35 40 years before you get to your first million Correct. for most people yes so Just imagine if, let's say, you didn't take the uh, medical card, yeah. then, and you uh, get admitted 
So then who's going to pay? Who's going to pay for for that? Uh, Correct. For 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 it's, for that for that amount. It's like uh, you paying membership for a parachute on your plane. You don't want your plane to crash. Hmm. But if the plane suddenly like got problem, you would want a parachute so that you don't get in trouble. <laughs> I'm trying to put the most polite word. Get in trouble. Okay. Uh, um. But, but when it comes to insurance, if you ask uh, any insurance agents, most of the time insurance agents is uh, your best friend, uh, your family member who says, sign up lah, help me, help me. Please, tolong, tolong, help me out. Uh, mm. They will try to sell you all, everything under their package mm. that they, they have. Uh, but how do we determine... Um. What's good and what's bad? Okay, so um, the oh, not not what not not bad lah. There's no such yeah. thing as <laughs> bad. Okay. What what is needed for you and what is wasteful on you? Okay, so so that's actually a good question, JJ. So the hmm. thing is, um, this is this is what I usually tell my clients. Yeah. Or even when I give talks, so I find it interesting that we as an individual. I I used to do this also when I didn't I didn't know better. So <laughs> yes. you 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 would calculate okay what is your budget? Ah, correct. So it's correct. either 100 a month, 150 a month, 300 a month, 500 a month and you actually disclose that information to the insurance agent. <laughs> I only got this much lah. Don't worry uh, bro. Yeah, can take it. So 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 I'm not I'm not saying that uh That's not right, but it's uh, that's not wrong. But at the same time, it's not fully right, lah. Correct. It's not fully right. So because the thing is, logically, if let's say you were to tell somebody your budget, if 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 their main income comes from you, <laughs> from a sales point of view, correct. Like, what is the possibility that that person will give you something lower than your budget? <laughs> they'll they'll probably try to create a policy. That right. meets your budget. Correct. So, yeah. so whether that, that whether or, all the budget you need, uh, whether you whether you need the whole coverage or not, is a different thing. Correct. 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 It's it's a different thing. But but to be to be fair, this is my my own view with regards to this because Enough. I think part part and parcel of the situation is how insurance agent actually get paid. Ah, okay. How okay. does insurance agents okay. get paid? <laughs> so, so an insurance agent gets paid by each policy that they successfully manage to close. Meaning, close basically submit and approve. Okay. So basically, basically it's enforced lah by the insurance or takafu companies. However, yeah. they only get the income for the first six years. After six of years. The policy. After six years, uh, with the exception of some investment uh, related contributions, basically no more income. Ah, so suddenly, you know what? A lot of people going, oh, that's why every six years I see my friend. <laughs> that, that, uh, <laughs> to a, sign a up good, new policies. A good insurance agent wouldn't wait for six years. Lah. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> they, 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 they'll, they'll, they'll come, most probably they'll come in year three or year four. Oh, because okay. because like I said, the commission is actually it redu- it reduces, so right. it goes to zero after six year, uh-huh. but it starts it starts relatively high, then it step down it like off. year three and year four, and then it tapers further down year five and year six. Right. Okay. Okay. And, so, and uh-huh. one thing that people don't notice because people don't read your policy, or <laughs> people read your quotation. Actually, the amount of commission that an insurance or takaful agent gets. For your particular policy, is uh-huh. actually written in your policy. Ah, and 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 okay, correct me if my I'm wrong. I could be wrong on this because we had a discussion last week, and my memory is a bit short. But mm. the insurance agent has to uh, tell you how much they're making of you. Yeah, no, because it is stated in it yeah, is stated correct. in it's the that, quotation not, and it's in the policy. Like, it's not like a hidden fact, lah. Like it's there. Yeah, it's it's not a hidden fact. So it is there. Yeah. So bank negara actually re- requires it to be disclosed. So if not, then it wouldn't be in the policy. Correct. It wouldn't be. But most most people, I think, okay, it's either the uh, policy owner doesn't know that that's available, or they don't care, or the agent might not be disclosing it because they don't think that information is important in the in the process. 
All right. Okay, yeah. but if, if it's required, is there a document that uh, we as customers have to sign to show that? Or is it they just have to verbally say it then cukup? Yeah, so, 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 so basically, technically, once once a policy is developed, even, even before, technically, once the quotation is prepared, you actually have to explain the quotation, not just the coverage portion. All right. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, but, but uh, based on what I know, I'm, this is not all, obviously. Some, obviously, because you're talking, one insurance agent might have hundreds or thousands of clients. Right. So, then, in, terms, yeah, in terms of time spent per, let's say, per agent, might, uh, per, or per client, yeah, might, might be short in nature. Lah. Might be short right. in nature. So, mostly it's okay. Uh, my client wants this. So, I will give the best that I can. Yeah. explain so it's within the client's budget client disagree client sign then that and, and and it's it's not a rude thing to ask the agent right no it's not uh, uh, it's it's okay to ask no because a lot of people segan nak tanya this is the truth thing and okay here's a question i want to know you know the commission that they get hmm. that's already a preset thing they cannot play around with it right uh, depends. Some policies you can reduce the commission. Oh, cannot naik lah. Just reduce lah. Yeah. So so there is a ceiling. So you cannot yeah. go above the ceiling, but you can reduce. So depending on uh, the agent that you have lah. But generally, what I know, the commissions that you can um, basically play around with would be your investment link policies. Right. Okay. So 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 basically, you are switching from the insurance part where the uh -huh. premiums are uh, where the commissions are higher in nature to the investment part where the commissions are lower. So which, <laughs> yeah. which which leads us to the next question: How do you plan your insurance and takaful uh, mm. while saving money as a family? Because look. What you were just uh, explaining, investment link is something else. Insurance is something else. There's so, many <laughs> so people are like, I don't know what is what is what. I want to save money. I'm saving money for my family because I need my six months before I can invest. But I also need my insurance for my safety. How do I... What, okay, good question. Uh, good question. <laughs> so, so similar to other things, you need to understand what is it that you need first. Yes. Okay. W what okay. is it that you need? So, because you can actually calculate the what do you need so for insurance. So, when you talk about insurance, you're talking, okay, what happens if I pass away? What happens if I'm permanently disabled? What happens yep. if I get into an accident? What happens if I'm afflicted with critical illness? What happens right. if I'm admitted to the hospital? So, right. these are some some of the important questions, questions. That, important questions that you ask. And for each of this, there is actually a guideline that says, okay, this is how you calculate what you need. Oh, where can we find this guideline? Ada tempat tak? Well, uh, so, ada tak? <laughs> and if, if, you go, if you go to our Facebook, you go to our website, there are right. some articles with regards to this. But this some of this information are also readily available. You can just Google it. So basically... Uh, you know, people lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They okay, like so, go to one stop. Yeah, so example. So one example that people use uh, for, let's say, life coverage. So meaning like if you were to pass away, how much is it that I need? Yep. So uh, one of the most uh, used uh, calculation is 10 times of your annual income. 10 times of your annual income. Mm. So basically 10 oh. years. Lah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. so basically, if let's say your annual income is 100,000, so right. it's 1 million. Right. Okay. That, that, that should be the minimum coverage that you get. Understand. But, okay, when it comes to life, this is for the people you leave behind, right? It's not for Correct. you. Because you, you're going to, it's this 10 years is for, so that the people you leave behind after 10 years, they, they, they can do it on their own. They've got yep. their own income. They don't have to rely on you. But yeah. this uh, mentality or, or, or thought process should be for someone who is the sole income for the family. Or it's, is it supposed to be for okay. Samarata? It's, it's not Samarata. So, uh, it is actually, so generally we will advise, it will be based on your contribution uh, to the family. 
Right. Okay. 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 okay so, okay, so okay, basically, okay. okay uh, especially in KL, it's hard right. to find uh, sole breadwinner families. Yes. 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 It's it's very hard because uh, you really need to earn a lot in order to become a sole breadwinner in in KL. Uh. In, yeah. It might still be possible in other states, but uh, not not KL specifically. Not in KL. Yes. Not KL. Specific. So most uh, most uh, families in KL and Selangor, generally, especially if you have kids. Uh, both husband and wife will be contributing correct, uh, correct, correct. to the family expenses. So just imagine uh, while you're both of you are living, while both of you are working, you're contributing. So it might be 50-50, it might be 7-30, it might be 60-40, whatever it is. Correct. But once one of the pillars actually passes away, so, so 50% that, that, income gone. Yeah, so yeah. we can assume, okay, let's say 50% income gone. So while... Uh, and you know, okay, fifty percent. So if let's say your expenses is let's say ten thousand a month, and this okay. other person is contributing five thousand a 5, month, five thousand, yeah, that's and a lot. you don't have sufficient savings, so yeah. how do you cover that gap for the five thousand? It's not as easy. It's not as easy as okay. I'm going to cut down all my expenses. No, no, no. I, it's it, it's correct. It's correct. It, because yeah. because um, it's. You cannot do it. It's 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 impossible yeah. to just Be, drop off like that. Because because some people they are already like at the bare minimum with regards to their expenses. All right. Okay. So so how how do you cut necessities out of your life? Assuming assuming that lah. So Correct. so and this is where this life policy comes in. So if if the person who's contributing passes away, then yeah. there is uh, some. Uh, basically uh, payment that yeah. is made by the insurance or Takafu company to the family so that yeah. the family can continue living while getting things in order. So right. it's, it doesn't mean that you have to cover until like all of them pass away. You're basically, you're basically, the concept is buying time. Because buying time. you might have, okay, your children at the point that that person passes away might be going to school. But right. if let's say you can give them five to 10 years, they might be going to work already. So yeah. then there's there's less impact to the person that is still that is still living. Okay, okay. Uh, don't don't get us wrong, you know, but if 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 you can uh somehow uh afford it to a point where uh you can get more for the family when you pass, we don't we're not saying don't. Okay, kita tak nak orang assume kita saying no, don't get insurance and all that. No, no, we're not saying don't. But there are ways of um, saving, cutting back and uh, and and uh, looking at your policy in a different way because yeah. it, it, it should be based on what you need, what your yeah. priority. So, adalah, just say this, lah. this guy is rich, okay? He's already got, got uh, uh, say, a company that, that in, generates income on its own. So a, a company is coming in. Uh, money is already coming in. Uh, uh, money for the kids is guaranteed already. So technically, in that case, he doesn't need a life policy. Yeah. But there is less a requirement. Yes. But he would get... need still insurance to cover just in case of uh, the mom. Oh, the mom. Pula. Sick. Go to hospital. That one has to be covered. That's technically, under medical. Technically, oh. no. So, so basically, oh, yeah, yeah, there yeah, is yeah. there is there is this concept called self-insured. Okay. So it means you don't need insurance. Sebab so, you kaya. Sebab you kaya. Okay. <laughs> sebab sebab you kaya. So, uh, because insurance is basically probability. Yeah. Okay. So you're you're paying something with the probability that something might happen, so that you're you're trying to cushion cushion the financial impact. Ah. So 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 that's the concept. So, but if you are rich, you have the ability to cover it on your own. Yeah. Then, to certain extent, does it, for some people, it doesn't make any sense for them to pay for the insurance. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because this would then be cause uh, that need. But then they have to uh, understand on the flip side. So, if then something were to happen, then their wealth would be reduced by that amount. Ah, correct. Because so, you have to spend that amount that that. Correct. Ha. Uh, so 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 it's it's uh this would then be a decision that that person has to make. So do I just okay? Do I just want to eat this like few hundred ringgit a month punya cost mm -hmm. so that 
I don't lose thousands or thousands or tens of thousands or what millions of ringgit versus okay I don't want to pay this small amount so that hoping that anything doesn't happen to me lah. Correct. Okay. Uh, so so that's 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 the that's a trade off. Okay. So now this good leads us straight to what's the, the what are, what are the pros and cons of uh, savings and insurance uh, savings and investing using insurance and takafor. Okay, so um, okay lah. As the question says lah, ah. you can actually save and invest using insurance and takaful. And uh, one of the most uh, one of the most popular products that uh, agents actually Sam. get their clients to take is actually uh-huh. education policy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, and so, so basically, you are basically saying, okay, uh, use uh, basically use uh, insurance to plan for your children's education. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. Because children's education not cheap unless uh, you know local you. Yeah, children's <laughs> even local you is not that cheap, lah. Uh, yeah, correct. It's not <laughs> that cheap, but compared uh, to uh, private, <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay so so that that is it so basically you say okay so invest you're basically combining investing Alamak. is it me or and uh, put- oh no oh. rafiq yeah you are breaking up this is time is not joking you are really breaking up but anyway uh I, i'll take time as he okay. he's he gets back Uh, just to tell people that uh, thank you for watching, everybody who's just joining in. If you got any questions, put it in the comments. We'll try our best to answer. If you want detail, remember whatever we're giving is just tips. It's not uh, the 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 go to say to everything final. It's just tips because each of us, uh, our financial uh, needs are different based on what we are. It's our own personal thing, lah. So um, remember, whatever we do, uh, giving you uh, is general tips. Okay, are you back, Ravi? I don't know where he's back. Okay. Anyway, so it's um, we have a question. So uh, it's all just on general tips. If you want in detail, you can you go look up there. That's their social media. Go get in touch with them there. Uh, if you're wondering what's this registration with JJ, okay. So, or you can scan the scan the, uh, there there. You can scan this. Uh, you can get free consultation on to check your financial health. Uh, they 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 will do it for you. And then, if you want more detailed answers, you can go again. Oh, he's back! Yes, yeah. are you back? Okay, cool. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm I'm not sure what happened with the internet. So so probably probably I'll I'll send a complaint email to TM later. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you were saying yeah. um uh, I forgot what you were saying already. I like because I panic because I panic. <laughs> I, 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 can, like, I, I can actually hear uh, every every single thing that you said. As, as oh really? Were, yeah. Because you, you were going then you went quiet. <laughs> alamak, alamak, panic. So I had to inter- interject and just stop. So anyway, uh, we were talking about insurance. If you're wondering, if you got any questions, uh, put it down. So We've got a few already, uh, but you continue. Yeah. So we talk. I think we we're talking about uh, uh, education. Uh, uh, Education Edu- plan, yes. Education plan. So basically, when you try to invest through an education plan, so it's actually combining the protection side, yeah, uh, which would uh, cover you, cover yeah. you, as the person paying, so that if something were to happen to you, the policy will continue until right. maturity. Okay, okay. So your your kids will get what so, they need to study. Okay. Lah. What what they need to study. And if, let's say, nothing happens to you, then you'll continue paying. And by the time it gets to maturity, you get what the investment Plan. target what investment target was supposed to give you, lah. Okay. Correct. So, but when you do it this way, when you do it this way, you are actually not maximizing the resources that you have. All right. Do explain that one because as soon as you take uh, uh, the 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 what do you call this what, what you said about um, for the kids the, for 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 their their education, my mind goes back to last week when we're talking about different ways of saving and one of the places you said is the what SSPN uh, ah SSPN correct uh, SSPN mm. so I'm like uh, which one would make more sense then tiba tiba you kata pasal if you pass away it will continue to the thing I'm like. Oh, I'm so confused now. Which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, so so basically, um, you okay. So what uh, investment link policy does is actually combine 
two different features into one product. Okay. 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 So not necessarily when you try to combine multiple features like three in ones, two in ones, four in ones, you 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 will get the best of everything. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tak semestinya lah. Tak semestinya. Tak semestinya. Okay. So you remember like when we were growing up, right? So all the Tetris games like the 20 in ones, the 40 in ones, and 51, actually most of the games are just uh, variation of Tetris. <laughs> But, correct, correct. Yeah. So um, so that to me, part of it is the same lah. Like, when you try to combine, um, let's say, insurance and investments. So the thing is, there is this saying in uh, in my line. Lah. So basically, take term, invest the rest. Right. Take term and invest the rest. Yeah. I, I, uh, term, maksudnya? <laughs> term is a, a, a insurance, pol- insurance atau cover policy that has a specific duration. So ah, there's no, there's okay, no, okay, inve- okay. There's no investment uh option Back here to it yeah okay yeah so it's purely it's purely protection right okay let let, let me just double check on, on on something this is layman asking when someone says investment through insurance and all that if you die your investment just stops right it doesn't grow somewhere right it's just no, no, like it that no, it, no, no, it that means they add in more into that thing to uh, so, so 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 Depends. Okay, so if let's say when you take the when you take the policy, so generally it will also come with this thing that we call a waiver. Right. Okay. So if you actually took the waiver, then something were to happen to you, then the policy will continue until maturity. But if you didn't take the waiver, if you didn't right. take the waiver, uh, but this is in case of an education policy lah, meaning you're paying for somebody else. Cor- but, ah. but, but if it's actually on your own life. Ah. And you were to pass away, then the money is paid out, lah. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Okay. Ah, uh, so so you need you need to understand you need to understand that 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 difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm trying to read some of the comments. This one from uh, Why Sung Victor says, uh, I think most people who purchase, oh, there you go. I think most people who purchase know the agents will get commission and not care, but unless they are thinking of going into business as well. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, fair enough. I'm, we're not saying... Uh, uh, we're not saying they shouldn't get paid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and we're not saying that. We're not saying that, that they shouldn't got, get paid. We're not saying that uh, it's like, oh, they are making money of you. We all know that. But the truth is, um, it's good to know how much of your contribution is going to them and how much and all that. It's just knowledge. The next question coming from uh, Jag... Jag Runner, who uh, ah this one panjang. Does it make sense to continue buy life insurance payments just for the tax relief of 3k per year? That's an interesting question. I have an investment link I got nearly 15 years ago, but quite cheap, but 200 monthly only. Cause if I die tak de hal for family, just that I think this way at least I get tax rebate and part of it goes. To investment portion, which can redeem if I survive until 60. That's an interesting question and point of view to look at it. I, what's your answer to it? Okay, so there's actually a few questions in there. <laughs> no, that's right, that's right. But yeah, I like that. I, I like that the tax relief part. The the the, the yeah. should I pay the the three thousand and all that? More or less, it's going to lead towards. Does it make sense to put in a lot uh, to maximize? How much tax relief you get from insurance, and just dump it in insurance. Okay, so basically, it would then go back to the point that I was making earlier about the need. So right. tax relief is the additional point. So it's to me, tax relief is a bonus that the government is giving you for taking an insurance policy. Right, 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 right. Okay, right, 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 right. the main point when you take either insurance or taka full is: Do you need it? Do you need that amount? Am I paying a lot for the policy? So, example, uh, the person that asked the question said, okay, it was a 15-year-old policy. Yep. It was a 15-year-old policy. So then you might check, okay, if you were to take a policy now, even though you're 15 years older, for yep. that 200 a month, can you get better coverage to cover your need? Ah, uh, what is your need? What is your need? So because that, 
policy that you took 15 years ago, assuming that you did your proper needs analysis and everything, would that be sufficient for 15 years ago? Okay, before we continue, I think we need to clarify what needs analysis is because I don't think everybody paham what is needed and what is required. Some people like, oh, insurance, insurance lah. I yeah. need insurance, but they don't understand that there's different elements in insurance, investment okay. part, life part, medical uh, card part, uh, to deal. Uh, so, like I was saying, okay, let's take life because I already explained how Correct. you calculate. So, it's 10 years. Yeah. So, let's say 15 years ago, uh, let's let's take example. Uh, 15 years ago, I was 26 years old. I just yep. started working for three years. Okay. So, my salary at that time was 2005 yep. a month. Yep. So, one year is 30,000. Okay. So, if I use the rule of thumb or the guideline saying that I need 10 years worth of annual income, that means I only need 300,000 coverage. Correct, correct, correct. But now you you sudah. So, so let's say, assuming now, I'm not going to tell you exactly how much I earn now. I, I know, I understand, I understand. I understand. <laughs> but, but, but taking in account inflation and everything, let's say now I earn 10,000 a month. I understand. It's so no now, longer... It's no longer thousand, it's a million. It's 1.2 uh, million. So so then the question that you need to ask is that 300,000 sufficient or not? Then that's uh, the first one. Second, if let's say I were to let go that policy, but yep. I, I'm still okay with paying 200 a month, can I get a coverage of 1.2 million for that 200 a month? Can I? God. You, you, you never you, know. You never, you never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, never, you know. never know. You got to so shop around. Yeah, you have to shop around, right? So with a term policy, it might be possible depending on your age. Right, okay, okay, okay. If the younger you are, better chances of getting that. Yeah, right? I was talking I was talking to a client this afternoon who is, I think, what, 31, 31 years old. So yep. uh, for her, uh, a 1.5 million uh, policy is like about 200 ringgit. Right, okay. But someone my age is a thousand something already. <laughs> Not necessarily. Like for me, when I took a policy at age 38, so I ah. took one, one million life, one million permanent disability, 500,000 eh, 500, critical illness. Right. So I'm paying about 400, 400 plus a month. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So, so, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't know until, unless you try. So, but at the same time, it's, it's macam, okay, kita nak cari, apa, bila kita, okay, so sekarang ni tiap-tiap bulan ada sales, kan, Correct. Shopee, Lazada, yeah. whatnot, yeah. so yeah. one one two two three three four four. so four four is coming, coming, coming next month <laughs> lah, right, so, but why is it then when we try to purchase something to sales, we actually, like, do our research, okay, uh, what would be the cheapest, even, even kadang-kadang, we are, we are, the only amount that we're saving might be in terms of cents. Yeah, correct, correct. And and, and cents mean big thing when you want to buy katakan a pen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but like, why don't we shop around for insurance or takaful policy? Yeah. Big, there, because... are, there are multiple insurance and takaful companies in Malaysia which correct. have their own pros and cons for each. Correct. And But most of the time, you buy insurance and stuff because your friend, neighbor... Or family come, hey bro, help me out lah. Then you go, okay lah, okay lah, okay lah, okay lah. Okay, just now you brought up something interesting. You said that 200, 200, 200, right? And I, I remember asking you this question and you gave me a very good answer that made me go, huh, really can I? I didn't know. Because I said, well, most of the time, if you want to increase your insurance plan, cannot. Who says can? And then you said something and I'm like, What? It depends on your coverage. I'm like, what do you mean by that? Mm. Tolong, uh, uh, explain. Okay. Because most, actually... because, let me explain why I brought it up. Because most of the time, if you go to your agent, your agent will ask you buy a new policy. So, mm. tolong <laughs> jawab itu soalan. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I, I hope insurance agents do not know where I live or where I work. <laughs> no, no, no. But there's nothing wrong here. Well, I'm it's, just joking. It's, it's, it's information and tips for everybody should know. Okay, Joe. Okay. So, basically, it actually is very dependent on the policy. It's not but on the coverage. It's actually dependent on the type of policy that you take. Okay, okay. Okay. So, the traditional type policies cannot. 
So you once you take that is that is your policy for life. That's it. So okay. You, so so you can't amend. But the newer type policies, especially investment link, yeah. you actually can uh, amend. So you can add, you can reduce, you can remove uh, coverage within that policy in an investment link, as long as the company uh, in the overall uh, structure for that policy allows that to happen. Okay. So because why why I'm saying this because uh, I had the policy with the company right. when I first took it. So okay, uh, I had a certain coverage. So then uh, this was before I did my CFP and everything. I so then I did. Uh, so then I did my CFP. So once I did my CFP, so I understood that certain things that I was doing with my own policy wasn't correct. So the first thing that I did after yeah. I learned that was then to okay. Uh, get this what change request form uh, and meet the changes. Right. Okay. And when, anyway, when you make the changes, actually, as long like I said lah, as long as the structure allows it to happen, so then the insurance company will then do the underwriting and everything and make the changes. And it might uh, include either you have to you pay the same amount or you yeah. pay a higher amount or you pay a lower amount. I understand. I understand. Okay. Not all of us can get our CFP. Uh, but, <laughs> but the information should be available on, at the website of the policy. I mean, the, the company that you bought the insurance to take from, right? Or is it that information is not available only orang pandai tau? Uh, okay. To be honest, I'm not sure whether it's readily available. Right. It's readily, okay. It is ready, readily available. So, and I'm not sure how many like uh, websites or portals or whatever is sharing this information. But what I'm sharing this is based on uh, my own personal and professional experience. Uh, so, and, and okay. So, so continue. It it, it 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 is possible. It is possible. Okay. So it's like this, lah. If you want to go in more details about personal and uh, 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 experience and knowledge about how to do it, ah, tengok, tengok, up there, up there. You, you see this, <laughs> this, this links. Get in touch with them, <laughs> and I'm sure they can help you along the way. Because uh, um, without saying names, uh, but based on experience, you just have to say yes or no. Have you ever looked at someone's um, policy and then go, hey, you can save this, 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 this and still be covered more than what you're paying? Yes. Huh. Pabla orang. So in other words, <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing, you could be paying for extra things, unforeseen costs uh, and getting covered lesser. And, yeah. it's, and, it, and, and it doesn't do justice to what you want yeah so it goes so, back to what we wanted at the start mm. it's it's what's your requirement what's your needs yeah yeah so 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 that is actually the first question that you need to ask like when you talk to an agent okay yeah. can you okay can you tell me what i need because sometimes you you might not know because you you're you're, you're not a need so actually all agents are trained to do that because now right. Uh, based on uh, new new requirements and everything, they need to do certain fact finding. So right. fact finding okay. means when they actually get your financial information. So and based on that, uh, they actually need to key in into their systems or forms or whatever. Now now mostly iPads, iPads yeah. and computer lah. Okay. Yeah. So and then this would tell you how much yeah. you need. Okay. So okay. it tells you how much you need for life, how much you need for permanent disability, how much you need for critical illness, blah 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 blah. Okay. So try try if let's say you're gonna take any advice from this, stop trying to tell your agents or whatever. Okay, this is my budget. Ah, uh, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So so change the conversation to. Can you give me a quote or can you help me to assess my needs? So, because they have the tools to help you to do so. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah. But let's help people along the way uh, on, on identifying the types of things you need. All right. If you need money for your family, if you pass away, they've got something to continue. That is what kind of policy? That is a life policy. Bagus. Now, if you need something to cover you in case you masuk hospital, 
and that you will... but 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 you don't need any savings ke apa-apa you just need to make sure that covered what is that uh, that will be a medical card ah so faham ah tulis tulis cepat 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 tulis <laughs> so you can ask them and then what does uh the total and this one disability cover what does that in in turn cover Okay, What's so basic, basically, uh, in Malaysia at least, uh, most life policies that mm-hmm. covers if you pass away also covers for permanent disability. Right. It's, it's okay. an either it's an either or thing. Either or. Okay, then that 36 critical illness thing, uh-huh. is that under the same category or is that no, uh, it's, uh, binatang it's, lain? Okay, it's, binatang lain. Uh, it's a different animal. <laughs> okay, different uh, You cakap animal. bahasa Melayu, I cakap bahasa Inggeris. <laughs> So what animal? What what is uh, that thirty six uh, okay. that one? <laughs> so so actually this this is a policy that most people get confused with. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when we were talking about masuk hospital semua tu the medical card the medical yep. card will cover most of your expenses if you're admitted if you sakit semua, right? So a critical illness policy is actually a pampasan. Oh, that means you kena, you dapat duit. Dapat duit. So, because the thing is, if let's say, uh, assuming, okay, not all critical illness will stop you from working. Correct. But correct, most correct. most critical illness will stop you from working means that you wouldn't earn an income. Ah, so this is the pampasans. This is the That's pampasan is- part. So, so means that once you kena this, uh, kena, let's say, sakit jantung or stroke or... Right. Uh, cancer, what not. So, you might not be able to work. So, you still need income to pay for your monthly commitments, for right. your living expenses and all right. that. So, and this is where this policy comes in. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, and generally for this, this type of policy, we advise you to get at least three years worth of your annual income. Right. Okay. Understand. Understand. The main the main reason is actually very simple. Based on observation, based on statistics, whatever, you either survive, get well after three years, or you succumb to whatever succumb, you are succumb to it. So once once, once once that happens, then you have your life policy. If you still have your life policy, understand. So you understand that when when someone says, "Hey, your 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 the critical illness covered is this this this." If you actually lower the amount, so like like what we said, the three month, uh, three years thing. So if you calculate three years, find out how much that is, and then when they say, "Oh, you got this inside the policy," I just want this much. Your policy price drops. If you know exactly what you need, rather yep. than they'll go, "Oh, here you get five hundred thousand," and then but actually you don't need five hundred thousand. Yeah. So that's where you're paying extra. Ah, yeah. So, so hopefully people people palm. Yeah. So because the thing is, we need to understand. So I always talk to my clients that yeah. we are working based on limited resources. Yes. Yes. If okay. you have unlimited resources, then do whatever you want. <laughs> I like right? that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do yeah. whatever you want. It's yeah, yeah. because it's not going to impact you. But once you have limited resources, every single ringgit that you can save here or you can extend here actually makes a big difference. Correct. Correct. Make, 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 makes a big difference. So, it's actually very important for you then to optimize whatever ringgit that you have earned to get you the best that you can get. Best so, bang for the buck. Correct. So, if let's say you don't need 500,000 coverage, why are you paying for 500,000 coverage when that money could have been allocated to let's say your children's education or yeah. your retirement or yeah. purchasing the house that you want to purchase yeah and all that so why or, or putting it extra into life so that right. your, your 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 when you go if that after three years start up your family is got like huge Co- correct so so when once you when your language starts to talk about needs so right. then you actually find out okay Oh, I'm actually so when you say, "Oh, am I overprotected? Am I underinsured and everything?" So this is actually what it means. Ah, understand. See, because most of the time the jargon comes to you, and then the 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 tablet or the iPad come out, and then they hmm. press, 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 and then you see big numbers. You like, wow, but you don't know that it's not what you need. 
Correct. You can move yeah. it elsewhere and then you can grow your wealth. So that's the big thing that we want you to know. So as long as you know, you are covered and at the same time, you you get your needs uh, addressed. Yes. It's, it's, it's scary. Okay. The honest to God truth when it comes to insurance, most of the time, like I, I keep repeating, hey, thank you very much for all the questions. If anybody got any questions, please put it underneath. We, we will try our best to answer all of them. But most of the time, we buy it, we buy it from friends or, or family. And then um, and whenever they got a new policy, they tend to go back to you and then they tell you to introduce a friend. And then you so kasihan, okay lah, you introduce. Uh, but, but, but the truth is, you don't know what you're signing up for. Um, of course, your friends not kata they orang buruk siku. They they've got your worst intentions in mind, but they've got things to sell. Yep. <laughs> so you can't scold them for having things to sell, and then you know it's you should ask the right questions for yourself. Okay. All right. Now, yeah, you should. We, you should. <laughs> we've been asking. We've been we've been bringing this up over and over again. So um, I I know we said. What uh, can you address my needs? That's the thing you wanted to uh, ask the the insurance agent. But what are the things, itemized things, at least five things that I should ask my insurance agents rather than what is my needs? <laughs> Because maybe the insurance agent yang baru who just mm. graduate, just baru dapat cert, what's your needs? You need to be covered the most. So, <laughs> that, you know, then the answer already wrong. So uh, what are the five things I should ask specifically so that, or maybe three, I don't know, it doesn't have to be five or three, but what are the things I should ask specifically to make sure I my needs are addressed? Hmm, okay, that is an interesting question. Um, yep. How do I how do I explain this? Okay, so um, okay, so obviously the easiest one is if let's say you know how to calculate yourself, lah. Correct. That one. Okay. Ah, uh, so <laughs> if you know if you know how to calculate yourself, then things will be much easier. So basically, it's like okay, uh, it's like okay, I have this tax. Macam you nak beli laptop. Man, ah, I have this ah, ah, So, ah. so then you pergi to okay, Asus or Acer or I Lenovo or right, right, right. All the different brands, ah, different ah. brand, and say okay, this is the specs that I want. So, can you give me your best quote? Ah, ah, okay, okay. So the specs. Now, what are the specs that I'm supposed to look for? So, so this is the needs lah. So basically, yeah. okay. So bas basic, basic rule of thumb. So okay, ten years of my uh, annual income for life. Got it. Okay. So for permanent disability, three uh, years. Um, at least five. At least five. Okay, bagus. At, permanent... at least minimum lah. Minimum. I'm talking about minimum, minimum. five. Okay. Uh, at, at least five. Critical illness at least three years. Oh, sorry. Critical na. Well, permanent disability five. Sorry, I forgot that one because just now you said life and this one kawan. So yeah. okay, uh, once again we repeat. Okay, life ten years. Uh, 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 um, uh, permanent disability. disability. Permanent disability five years, and then critical illness three years. Hmm. Okay. At least, at least this is minimum, minimum. guidelines, lah. Understand. So then, for medical policy, at least you should be looking for minim, uh, medical policies that give you one million per annum coverage. One okay, one million per annum coverage because uh, hospitals and uh, uh, expensive. <laughs> and yeah. and and also here's one thing that not many people. I don't know whether the policies nowadays have the same thing. There is a cap that how much you can use forever. So like if you read. It's mm. it, it doesn't get renewed after a year. It's like one million. That's it. When you hit one mm. million, gone. There yeah. are things like that also. So you better be aware of what you're signing. Yeah. Up. So 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 you better be aware. That's that's actually correct. But actually now, if uh, more more and more policies, uh, do not have caps for lifetime. Oh my gosh, thank God. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, doesn't 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 because like I said lah, this is a probability thing. When you talk about insurance and takafu, is a probability thing. So, yeah. uh, the probability of one person needing to claim one million every year is actually very low. Very low, correct. V correct. Very low. So, yeah. and you're talking about millions or at least hundreds of thousands of people subscribing to yeah. to to similar policies. 
right so and this is how insurance work anyway so yeah. everybody kumpul duit contribute blah 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 so that the insurance or takaful company can pay pay the claims understand okay so those are the four things that you should ask those are the needs that you should yeah. uh, go to your your agent your friend whoever mm. and ask the question now we have that four things is there a priority which is number one which is number two which is number three and this is number four mm. or okay. is it depending on yourself uh obviously the uh political politically correct answer is is very it's going to be dependent on your situation lah. okay it's going to be dependent on your situation but assuming standard standard life lah, standard person yeah. and everything so let's say somebody who's married somebody who has contrib uh, contributes to the family has children and whatnot so nothing is single so but yeah. just, just 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 a standard person so me uh the most important to me lah, the most important coverage should be your life coverage yes what you leave behind what you leave behind okay, okay. so if let's say you have minimum resources so that should be your main focus understand understand okay the main reason why i don't say medical is because uh, at least in malaysia you can go to government hospitals yeah Agreed. And our government hospital is actually one of the best uh, cares in the world. Okay. Yeah. Our... Well, actually, yeah. The, doc the doctors there are really well trained because yes. wh where, where do you think all the private hospital doctors come from? <laughs> correct. <laughs> government <laughs> hospitals. Correct. 100% correct. And, and the crazy part is if you go to a, a, a medical um, hospital, like the the it's 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 attached to education okay they tend to have the newest equipment the paling baru punya benda yeah so so because um uh, and that's that's generally what i tell my clients lah because i i, I had i had situations uh real life situations where i met okay somebody who was introduced or referred to me yeah uh, uh this was i think it was like 2015 if i'm not mistaken okay. 2015 so this was before CFP lah. I was I was still a takaful agent at that point of time. So somebody referred this uh, client to me. So this client wanted to take a medical policy for his family. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So after reviewing his financial situation, I actually advised him: you don't need a medical policy at this point of time. There are other areas that you should be uh, working Covering. on. Yeah. Covering yeah. the main yeah. reason is okay. One on one hand, there is uh, uh, government hospitals lah. <laughs> on yeah. the second hand, he was working with an organization that provided full coverage for him and his family. Oh, okay. Um. So and is a is a stable lah. It's a it's one of the government government linked companies GLC. So probability of it like shutting down or whatever is low. Quite low. Yeah. Quite low. But I'm not saying that uh you don't take it sampai bila bila. Understand. But at, at that point of time, when he met up with me, that wasn't a need. Right. So there, 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 were, there were other pressing needs. Okay, so then I told him, you should be focusing on these other areas instead of uh, this. Lah. So then obviously he didn't proceed. Lah. He, did, he didn't proceed. Right. Okay. Now, now here's a, a, a more personal question. Uh, we've been talking a lot about insurance and all. But I want to know if someone comes to y'all to wealth advantage, mm. can you help them out on this as well? Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, so so the the biggest the one of the uh, biggest advantage of come going to a financial advisory firm. So yeah. we are uh, so uh, we actually have access to multiple companies. So means that you don't have to go and shop at with different agents. So you can go to one place and we would we have we have done the comparison for you. Ah you know the online shops you like to go to the main reason because yeah. everybody is there. Much yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so and at the same time we will help you to calculate your needs. Right. And and even because I, I had this one situation where I think because people are not used to working with financial advisors like us. Yeah. So when we actually proposed the recommendation to the uh, to this client, so it was like several different companies. 
and they were like, "What's was going like, on here?" So, so why, like, how, how is it that I'm going to liaise with all the different companies? But I say no. You will still liaise with us in World Vantage. We are the one who will liaise with all the different companies, because right. it's like all the different companies have their own uh, strengths. Yeah. So yeah. when we have the access, so then we would be selecting the best coverage with the most cost-effective uh, option. So then you get the uh, the best that you can get for the bang for the buck, lah. I, I had to add that in because, you know, I found that out and I'm like, oh, because before this, I didn't know. I found out uh, last week when we spoke to you mm. and uh, that that you all can handle that. Most people are afraid of that. Main reason why they like going to one person and covering everything is the convenience. They malas to have to call here, call there, call there. But now, if once you know that if you go to a financial advisor, and a financial firm can count them all under one roof, you suddenly go, okay, that, that makes sense. Then I will look for the best for myself. Because most yeah. of the time it comes to conveni convenience. Um, it does. Like, like car insurance also, the reason why you renew with the same person is convenience. You won't shop around, you won't look for new things. It's just, you yeah. know, you it's stick just... to what convenient it, to you yeah it's just convenient it, it might not be the best thing for you correct yeah but yeah convenience usually win out so yeah. ala, malas, malas lah nak tukar malas lah nak buat ni because you're so used you're so used to that person or you're so used that, that, to that product correct so if you malas there's two two okay there 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 ah, ah eh, eh wrong hand sebalik ah, eh, eh. <laughs> ah, 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 ah tadi ah, 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 ah. there you see these things get in touch with that this one underneath here or this these words here yeah. will give you a free financial health check. They can check in and give you information so that you know uh, you can know your uh, uh, financial situation. Then after that, get into more detail. That one you talk to them, they will help you yeah. out. But if you want like tips, like before this at the start of the show, if you're just joining us now, um, spoke about you know places where you can find out information. But when it comes to tips and tricks for your finances, even insurance and stuff. Go to their social media at the top there at Wealth Vantage. Uh, my, you should be able to find all the information you can. Okay, uh, this is uh, orang bodoh punya soalan. Okay, I know Takaful is a more Islamic plan, and insurance is insurance. Is there a difference? From okay, so basically, from the objective point of view, no. Okay. Okay. From the objective point of view, no. It's just that there are just some uh, some differences in how it's structured, but yeah. the end result is the same. So meaning that if you take insurance or you take takaful, end result that if something were to happen to you, you will uh, you will be able to claim. Yeah, that part is the same. It's just that if you're talking about okay, why is takaful sharia compliant? Why is insurance is not? So that is a more in depth discussion. More detail. Okay. More detail now, discussion to have. now uh, another uh, weird question because, um, like, I've seen Takaful plans talk about hiba, mm. and it sounds like a very secure thing for family. Can mm. non Muslims sign up to Takafuls? Yeah. So that to and will they get that hiba thing as well? Yeah. Hiba. Okay. So the thing is, um, the word hiba, a lot of people uh, use the term hadiah. Yeah. Uh. Okay. But actually, yeah. hiba actually means pemberian. Right. Okay. It's yeah. somebody giving something, giving something to you. So yeah. that that is exactly what hiba means. It is okay. somebody giving something, something to you. In this case, okay, they are basically giving the, uh, they are actually assigning that policy to you lah, saying that right. if something were to happen to me, you get the money. Yeah. So no. and it it doesn't it doesn't go into the, your estate. It goes directly to the person who receive it. So it that's, becomes yours. It yeah, becomes so, yours. So that's the question because some people um, uh, claims and take to court and gado gado. Uh, I've heard stories lah. You know what I mean? But the the the, the whole um, estate side lah. Estate side doesn't yeah. get given Correct. to the people. Yeah, who, but but the takaful or the hiba that you need. So even like normal insurance uh, proceeds and everything, if you put 
a certain person to receive it. So no one, no one can gado. So okay. it will, it will, it will go to that person. Mana aku tahu? Saya uh, bukan insurance yeah, agent. Yeah, it will go to that person. So yeah, so hiba is actually just one way to assign who receives it. Okay, cool. No, it, yeah. it sounded like a funky, a very cool thing. So I thought I'll just yeah, yeah, yeah. So, clear it for people who who oh, that's only for Muslims. You don't know whether no, you can no. buy, even so though I, the the policy yeah, might be yeah. better. So I actually parts. have non-Muslim clients who take takaful policies. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> And actually, one of the main reasons why some of my non-Muslim clients actually take takaful policies is because there is this. Okay, I'm not sure whether to say it's a minor thing, uh-huh. but insurance policies has this concept called trustee. Yes. Yes. Meaning that let's say okay, let's say you and your wife, right? So yeah. you take a policy. So you're married. So you take an insurance policy. Uh, automatically, your wife would be your trustee. Correct. So Correct. if if let's say you want to make changes to your policy, your wife needs to approve on it. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. If, if not, yeah. you, if not, you cannot make changes to your policy. Correct. So 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 just imagine if let's say you get into a divorce. Ah, uh, which, which? Yeah. So so basically now you cannot change the policy without uh, without the other person saying yes to it. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's a that's yeah. a minor so, but, major fact. <laughs> but in Takaful, that concept of trustee doesn't exist. Oh, that's such a minor major fact that a lot of <laughs> people are going. Oh, sekarang yeah. saya tahu. Ha, so so some of, when I explain that to some of my non Muslim clients, so they say, okay lah, I'll take Takaful lah. <laughs> Because they say I want I want I want to be in full control of my own correct. policy. No, correct. That, that is correct. That is correct. Okay. Cool. So at least there you go. Information. Hey, uh, guys, remember keep the conversation going. If you got any more questions, just put it in the comment. If you're watching this later, lah, put it in the comments. Um, 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 we will try our best to answer them, uh, or maybe answer them next week, depending. It can be any questions. It doesn't have to be takaful insurance or so. It can yeah. be about any other financial tips that you want. Remember, whatever we're giving you are just tips. It's not hundred percent. This is it's the not, way to do it. It's yeah. not advice, lah. It's not advice. It, it, it's not advice. It's just tips. You can use those tips, but if you really want advice, get in touch with them. Yeah. Okay, then they can give you advice because then it's personalized according to what you need. Tudia, another good week, dude. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Uh, for asking the questions, we learn together, and 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 uh, that's the main reason why we're uh, Wealth Vantage is doing this, so that the the financial illiteracy goes away, so people will be more financially literate. Did I say that right? Yes. <laughs> I yes, suddenly yes, like yes. I I'm illiterate uh, <laughs> when it comes to words, but it's okay. But once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the the information yep. and um. Yeah. See you again next week. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.